We're in the back of a pretty standard frontline A&E vehicle. In the vehicle you will notice there are a few important points. On the floor are the fixing points for the stretcher, which whilst the stretcher is out of the vehicle, become a trip hazard, so be careful of the fixings on the floor. But when the stretcher is in place, they are what fix it to the actual chassis of the, of the vehicle. On the ceiling, you'll notice there are multiple lights, there are oxygen ports, there are also control panels for the central heating, the air conditioning and everything else in the vehicle. The air, air temperature in here needs to be kept and regulated really around body temperature. You'll also notice that the paramedic or the ambulance attendant seat faces backwards. So as if we're working on airways, looking at suction, OP airways, nasal airways, intubation and that type of thing, they're done from the head end of the stretcher where we can work on the airway quite clearly and quite easily. There are multiple, multiple cupboards, but they're normally easily in reach of the person sitting in the seat to be able to use whatever's in the drawers. And they range from literally airway drawers, diabetes, right the way down to literally airway management tough cut scissors. All cupboards will have their own contents specifically designed for the vehicle you're working on. Familiarisation of how the buttons work and what is stored in each cupboard and each cabinet is important for any crew or anybody working on frontline. The last thing you want to do is to be hunting through all these drawers trying to find one piece of equipment. Familiarise yourself, whatever vehicle it is you're working on, before you go out on shift or before you go out to a patient, make sure you know exactly where your equipment is because you may need it in a split second. There are also multiple oxygen ports to run oxygen driven machines. This particular machine is at Parapac which we use for ventilating patients on transfers to hospital. We then have hand sanitising foams and cleaners to keep us and our patient clinically clean. Sterilised, everything is clean and you'll see the vehicle itself has wiped down surfaces which must be kept clean and it's your job as the person working on that vehicle to keep it clean. We then move on to suction. There are multiple different types of suction available. They all work slightly differently but they all work on the same principles. Okay, Disposable suction units themselves, disposable pipe work, they're all run off battery. They are all releasable from their clamps to take out of the vehicle wherever the patient is. So all units, all suction units may be different. There are all different manufacturers, they're all different types, but they are all battery operated. They are all automatically plugged into the mains of the vehicle while the vehicle is working, and they are all releasable for the vehicle to take away where you need them most. The cupboards above tend to have in airways, OP, nasal, wipes, vomit bowls. And these cabinets here have in all sorts of different airway maneuver equipment, needles and cannulas. The lower ones tend to have all of the rescue equipment, all of the collars, all of the braces, all of the spinal boarding equipment and the pelvic splints. On the top we have the clinical waste bins for disposing of any blood borne or vomit or anything like that into clinical waste boxes. We move then to the back where we have oxygen stowage. The cylinders need to be checked. There is a gauge on the cylinder which we need to check before every shift to make sure it is full. No point going to a patient with oxygen that is too low. Change it if it's low or below quarter full. And finally, we have drug stores for things like morphine that have to be locked away at all time. Uh, spare batteries for the stretchers, burns equipment. And moving into here, vomit bowls and cleaning products and maternity packs. And the last ones on the top are just your clinical waste bags and your contaminated uh, clothing or stretcher bags which are washed and dissolved in the wash. There are also handles because when we have to get around, move about on the vehicle while it's moving we need something to hold on to whilst the vehicle itself is moving.